In this video, we'll find the protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for mercury, for the isotopes of mercury. There are seven isotopes of mercury. We're going to look at the three most common isotopes of mercury. So let's start out by finding the atomic number. That's the number right here. So we have our atomic number, and we can just write that in 80. And that doesn't change. doesn't matter what isotope of mercury you have. You're going to have an atomic number of 80. And since the atomic number equals the number of protons, we'll have 80 protons for each isotope as well. Let's skip over neutrons and talk about electrons. When you look at mercury on the periodic table, there's no negative or positive sign after it. That means it's a neutral element. So with a neutral element, the number of protons equals the number of electrons. So we have 80 protons. That means we'll have 80 electrons. So the only thing that's different for these isotopes of mercury, that's the number of neutrons and then the mass number. We can find the mass number if we're given this hyphen notation here. Mercury 199, that means the mass number is 199. Mercury 200, that would be 200. And Mercury 202, that's the mass number. So now we have the mass number, and the mass number equals protons plus neutrons. So 80 plus something gives us the mass number. 80 plus 119, that would give us 199. So mercury 199 has 119 neutrons. For mercury 200, 80 plus 120, that would give us 200. And mercury 202, that'd be 122 plus 80 would give us 202. So we have figured out the number of neutrons for mercury based on the mass number, which we found in this notation here. Often teachers will give you the number of neutrons, ask you to find the mass number, or give you the mass number and ask you to find neutrons. If you're not given this information, you can go to the periodic table, take this number here and round it to the nearest whole number, and then use that for your mass number. When we look at all of the isotopes of mercury, the seven naturally occurring isotopes of mercury, if we average them based on their abundance, how much there were of each one, that would give us the average atomic mass here. This is Dr. B with the protons, neutrons, electrons for mercury, HG. Thanks for watching.